Uh, morning everybody, uh, just an update on how many live lessons have been delivered by the staff. Presently, on average, each week, there's been over 1,300 live lessons delivered by all of our staff. Obviously, this has been extremely beneficial for the learning for our students, but also equally important for our students to have verbal contact with their teachers and improving their well-being. We know that it's a tough time for all of our students, you as parents and our staff, but we're all part of the Henley team. We're all wanting to support each other through these very challenging times. Following my introduction, some of our staff, Mr. Inglis and Ms. Smale, have produced a video offering some extremely useful tips for parents regarding your child and supporting them with their remote learning. I know this will offer some comfort as well as providing some useful information in both supporting your child to achieve success and reach some of their lockdown goals. My last message before I pass on to the teaching team is just to reiterate one of the points that I made last week. Please ensure your child gets important time away from the screen. Do some colouring, do some artwork and also some physical exercise. Thank you for listening. I'll now pass you on to our staff. Hello, me and Ms. Mel back again. Uh, another member of staff commented we might be uh, the, the Richard and Judy of, of this school, but that might even be a bit too old for reference for a lot of you. Um, but we're back again to talk about some of the barriers um, that we've come across people um, having getting on to remote learning. So we wanted to go through a few of these and try and hope to give you some of the answers as to how we can help and how we can support you. So the first one is I don't have a lesson. Um, so that is people not recognising that they need to follow their timetable always. So 100% of the time you are following your timetable and when you would have maths um, on, a, you know, on a Monday afternoon, you have maths. So everything is directly, seamlessly following your timetable day by day, hour by hour. And that includes break and lunch, so you, you, you'll get your break time and you'll get your lunch time the same as you would ordinarily would in school. So you will always have a lesson. If you're between 10 to 9 and 10 past 3, you will always be in a lesson apart from lunch and break. Um, if for whatever reason they are on um, class charts, but if not, if you don't know your timetable or you can't remember your timetable, if you let somebody in the pastoral team know, we will happily mm -hmm. send it across to you. So there is no time where you do not have a lesson. There might be the odd one where the teacher isn't live. Yeah. For example, today I was supervising some students who were in school, therefore I wasn't able to be live. The lesson and lesson work was still there, so there wasn't a non-lesson, but there just wasn't on a live course. So the lesson does exist. Yeah. Bear number two. This was one that was brought up um, a couple of times this week. So my lesson isn't on my calendar. Now, there are two reasons for this. Uh, my personal reason is I like to set it live as and when I'm there. So sometimes I might give students a five minute break to go and get a drink or to go and um, get away from the screen for five minutes so it won't be pre-scheduled in. Secondly, from my point of view, is I'm trying to develop people's IT literacy skills and relying on a calendar sometimes, I think from, for my subjects, isn't always the way to go. So my, my lessons are never calendared um, and my attendance is still strong, but my lessons are, are not calendared. My lessons are calendared, tend to be, just because that's the way my mind works. But um, that doesn't mean that sometimes I don't make a mistake and I've, even though I will have made a channel with the date on and the lesson and then I'm, I'm, all of a sudden something happens and I'm like, oh my God, I've forgotten to, to put the, the meeting in there. So, so it will still occur and I will start a meeting and we will start immediately. So um, the lessons will occur whether it's calendared or not. Yeah, most of the time I've seen most teachers have a channel for either the week of lessons or the, the specific date. And, and so there is, there is a lesson. It might not be on your calendar, but it will be on your it's teams there. and on your channels. Yeah. This is a good one. I can't find the work. So um, don't get me wrong because I have, um, and your teachers, if this does occur with you at any point, they will happily share their screen to show you where to find things. But... For me, I tend to put work in one of two places. Either I create it as an assignment on the general chat, so the general channel, so it'll be there, or it'll be in the files of the day's lesson. Those are my two. 
and just ask the teacher because the various teachers for various subjects yeah. have a completely different way of working um, depending on what suits suits that subject so some teachers might want you to upload a picture some might want you to download a word document and use it but generally speaking they're in one of two places in the files tab for that particular channel or in the files tab for the general for that team so that they're normally in one of those two ways and worst case if you're really struggling with it and you can't find that when you're really having a technical issue and i've done this this week is i've just emailed the word document to specific students who are really struggling don't see it as a way out and just say well i can't do the work that's me done then make sure we are finding a way to get hold of the work and the word i've been using a lot with, with students is be proactive rather than just sitting there and hoping it fixes itself be proactive and take the initiative on yourself to say well i can't find it if I ask my teacher, they'll be able to send it, or if I speak in the chat, and I've seen this done on many lessons I've been in where other students have helped out other students to say, oh, it's here, if you click here, you'll find it. So be proactive uh, and don't try and sort of say, I can't find it. And what that means as well is that you will not be under any pressure to the complete work that you should have done in that hour. So, you know, it, it is going to require a bit of resilience sometimes, but get it. Another one, the PowerPoint isn't working. Now, this could be a, a school issue. We had one where the Wi-Fi went down in school, so anybody delivering lessons in school wouldn't have been able to put a PowerPoint on. We've had it where the PowerPoints are maybe stopping the bandwidth, and if your, sort of your internet at home is, isn't as strong as sometimes it could be, that actually watching a live PowerPoint isn't the way forward. Now, Miss Smile does this really well, where the PowerPoint is there in advance. The students have the PowerPoint open separately from the Teams call so they can see the PowerPoint and haven't got to rely on Wi-Fi, haven't got to rely on the call, but have the PowerPoint there. And I think that's a really good way of doing it. But th there are tech issues, um, but if the PowerPoint doesn't work in the Teams call, then you can find the actual presentation itself or ask for the presentation itself and do it uh, and not have the call with the PowerPoint on and have the PowerPoint open separately. I've also had it that um, I've had um, students telling me that the PowerPoint's not moving forward as um, I've been moving forward in the PowerPoint. And um, a really good fix, and I've told them to do this, is to they just tell me that that's the case, they leave the call and rejoin, and that does normally fix it. Yeah. Our last one. Yeah. I don't have afternoon registration. So this is going to go one of, it's going to go slightly different isn't it, after half term mm -hmm. that you should be in your assembly registrations and from from after half term a friday uh, catch up with your with your tutor is also where you expect it to be in there um, and it's just so we can check that, that people are where they should be and people actually if they need to talk because obviously it can be a bit lonely and it can be a bit difficult being home in front of a screen for five hours a day um, that are on a friday especially it's really good to have that opportunity to talk to, to your form tutor and, and look at the assemblies that, that are taking place because a lot of them have information that have answered questions to some of these. They might have questions um, relating to pa um, parents' evening. I know there's a, an assembly about parents' evenings. So you will have that. Each of your form groups has its own team. So going in there, again, you'll be able to see when your, your, tut your registration times are and um, be able to sort of make sure you're catching up with your form tutor. Mm. So there are assemblies that are there for you to watch on a Monday and on a Wednesday. And then your form tutor at the moment has um, chosen a d different day of the week, often a Friday, for you guys to meet up. And my form tutors are telling me that it's often random stuff that they're yeah. talking about, a quiz as well or something like that. Now, that will continue. Um, I think there, it, it, there, are, we, there will be some sh small changes, but it will continue yeah. in a very similar th theme after half term. And as always, ask, rather than just sitting there and hoping it fixes or sorts itself out, you're in the registration from 8.40 to 8.50 anyway, so just put a message in there to say uh, where, where are we in, what, uh, what day are we on, what, uh, what sort of, um, where should we meet, how should we meet, what should we be watching, and just be a bit more proactive, really. That's it, I think, from us. Yeah, last week, so. next week, last push, yeah. and then we get a week off. Um, so enjoy your weekend. Hope you have a nice Thank rest, and see you all Monday. Henley and Arden School, achieving excellence together.